during Christmas time, there is a story that goes like this. On Christmas Eve, many children will leave out milk and cookies for Santa Claus to enjoy after his trip down their chimney with his bag of gifts. We see one child carrying milk and a plate of cookies ready for Santa to eat. We will count the amount of cookies this boy... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, um... You're not a little boy. You're a grown-up. <laughs> anyway, we'll count the cookies the boy, I mean, grown-up man, will leave for Santa to eat. One, two, three. So three cookies are left on top of the chimney for Santa Claus and the boy, I mean, man, will now go to bed. The next day, the man woke up to see presents under the Christmas tree. He's so excited to see these gifts. Look at him jump for joy and celebrate. Then he looks over towards the cookies and sees... Whoa! There are more cookies on the plate. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookies on the plate. Instead of eating the three cookies he had left for Santa Claus, Santa Claus added more cookies to the plate. How many cookies did Santa add to the original three that were in the plate the night before? Stay tuned, we're going to look deeper into this problem. The night before, he had three cookies on the plate. And then the next day, he woke up and saw eight. So three before and eight later. So Santa Claus added some cookies to the original three that were there. And we're going to find out how much did Santa Claus add to the plate. Let's take a closer look at this. So this is how it looked. And the night before, one, two, three. There were three cookies on the plate. And then the next day, it looked like this. Eight cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, all together, eight cookies on this plate. The three that was originally there the night before, and then some amount that Santa Claus added to the plate to make it eight. And we're gonna figure this thing out. So let me set up how this looks. So we have a three, and it's going to be three plus some number that Santa Claus added is equal to eight. And we're going to find how many cookies Santa Claus added to the plate. So, let me change the color of the first three so we can clearly see how many Santa Claus added to the plate. So, these three cookies represent the three that the guy put on the plate the night before. So you can clearly see how many Santa Claus added to this plate. Because remember, this three is, this, these three represent how many that were there earlier. Let's count it how many Santa Claus added to the three. One, two, three, four, five. Five cookies. So that means three 
plus the 5 that we counted here all together is going to equal to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do another example. Imagine he had put only two cookies the night before. And then he woke up the next day to see four cookies on the plate. So that means Santa Claus added some cookies to his plate. How many cookies did Santa Claus add through the night? So remember, he only had two. I'm going to change the color of the original two just to clearly and to just to highlight and show it a little more better and clearer. See? So those represent the original first two that he had. So the two plus the amount Santa Claus added to it. And how many Santa Claus added? Well, it has to be these. One, two. So Santa Claus had added two. And together, that is one, two, three, four. And that's four. Let's look at one more example. So let's imagine an, on the night before he had this many cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he goes to sleep and wakes up to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cookies. Let's write something. So, there were seven plus some amount that Santa Claus added. We will find out soon. And that is equal to ten. And let's find out how many did Santa Claus add to this thing. Now, I'm going to change the colors of the original seven so we can see the difference between the seven that was originally there in the beginning and the amount that santa claus added to the picture so let's see one two three four five six seven so i changed the colors just to clearly show the difference between the amount of cookies the guy put on the plate and the amount that Santa Claus added. And so we can clearly see the two different sets of cookies. So remember, here's seven. This represents the seven that were there the night before. And then here are the new cookies he added. How many are there? One, two, three. So. That means there are three cookies that Santa Claus added, and that makes 10. So it's 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. And we can show it right here. Here's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here's the 3, 1, 2, 3. And all together, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we're going to do some more examples. We're going to use some trains to help. So, you know, here's, here's a little train, and you see how trains are connected by the cars. So here's a train, and here's a train car, here's another car, and here's another car, okay? So that's a train, and we're going to make that disappear. And we're going to work with the, this. So this train will help us 
find some answers with addition. If we're faced with something like a 3 plus something is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, for example. 8. So here's our 8. So 3 plus something's equal 8. So here's the 3. All right, so this is how this is, this is how we interpret this. This is 3. Plus some more cars is going to equal this whole thing over here. Because this is 8 right here. This is what 8 looks like. 8 train cars. And we have 3 up here. How many more we need to add to this to make it look like this one down here? Can you see closely? Let me move this a little closer. And you can look carefully and see how many more we need to put here to look like this. Because remember, this is already 3. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. Well, it looks like the same as this, the same size as this. So that means the three that was here, remember? These were three, right? Remember? And then all of these here, five. So the three and the five together is the same length as this one, which we know is eight. So that means three plus five is equal to Eight. Let's try another example. So in this example, two plus some number is equal to five. Here is two, and here is how five looks like. One, two, three, four, five. So this 2 plus some extra cars here is going to equal to the same 5 down here. So how many more do we need to add to this train up here to equal this one, to look just like this one here? Let's see. We already have 1, 2, right? And let's get some more. We have 1 here. We have two, and I guess three, looking like three, right? Yep, three, look, it's the exact same length. Look at that. See, they're the same. And put it right in here and right out. So they're the exact same thing. So what this is saying is this. Remember, this was 2, and this is the 3 extra that added to the 2 to make 5. So that means 2 plus the 3 extra, or 3 more is equal to 5. And let's do another example. So we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, Five and six. 
So six, and how many more will make eight? So that means six plus something is going to equal to eight. So this is eight. Remember, this is how eight looks like. And we have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How many more do we need to get to eight? Well, looking at this picture, if I do one and two, two more train cars added to the six looks exactly like eight. So, it's six plus two is equal to eight. Six plus two is equal to eight. See, this was the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six is underneath this. This whole thing right here is six. And then this was the two. And that's two. And together is the same as this eight. And I'm going to do one more example. Okay, this last example, we have four plus something is equal to nine. So that means four plus some more train cars is gonna equal to this nine train car down here. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine. So we know how nine looks like. And here's four up here. One, two, three, four. Here are the four cars. So four plus sum over here is going to equal nine. So how many are we going to put over here? Let's count. One. Two, three, four, and five. That looks just about the same size as this nine down here. So that means four and the five makes nine. And I'm going to write that. So it's the four plus five, and that is equal to nine. Because remember, it was four over here, that's four, and then these five came later. And together, they look like this nine, all together. So the four plus the five is nine. And that is all for this lesson. I hope you've learned well. Goodbye.